I was at the scene, I was coming out of work when it happened and a couple of windows blew out on either side of the street. Then up in the sky there was a bright pink cloud. Getting there is, is something I don't think I or anyone else in the country who was there will ever forget. Many people injured and it's just not the same street you were on a couple of minutes before the explosion. But amid the chaos, you had so many people rushing down with whatever first aid kits they had. You had so many people come down with their cars just to see, you know, who can lend a helping hand, who can help someone evacuate as soon as possible. Responding to a crisis is one thing, but responding to staff who live within the area is something that we're not used to. We're not used to making sure that our own staff are being responded to and getting the assistance they need. What do you do when the streets are full of rubble and you don't know where to start? But we thought, let's start somewhere. With IOM, I think we understand the intensity of the needs on the ground. It's a highly stressful situation. There's no sleep, it's 24-7 work. A lot of the work can be traumatic. But it's when you walk into a house that has nothing, and a couple of months later you walk out of that house, with children laughing, the mother's happy, the father's calmer and happy. It's just happiness. And I think from then on, that's just been what's pushed me completely. And that's being a humanitarian.